You wouldn't believe that it's almost November, not judging by the weather that we've got today. It's full sunshine, blue skies, a gentle breeze, and it's warm enough to be outside in a t-shirt. So the weather has took a turn for better. But I have got plants that have been struggling over the last few days, and it's because of the pepper plants. But the great thing is, over the last week, there's quite a few that's ripe. So we can nip outside and harvest the cells a few long sweet peppers. Let's go and take a look. These are the plants I'm talking about. Nice sized peppers on there. The plants are definitely on the way out though. Especially that one. But for the time of year, the amount of peppers that's on this and ripen, I think is pretty amazing. Considering they've been outside since we first started growing them, but now's the time to take them off. If we don't, they're going to start shriveling up. So I'll take them off, pop them in this bowl. Even these small ones might as well come off. They're not going to grow any bigger anyway. But we have got some really nice ones there. So it's just pepper day today. I have got some more around the other side of the van. I'll show you them when I've took these off. Because those I am going to leave. Another really nice one there. I was going to overwinter these plants, but I think because we had that cold snap, I don't think they'll be any good for that now. I've got quite a big one there. It's almost ripe. It's an orange colour rather than deep red, but it's still worth taking now. I consider myself really lucky to have got what I've got this year. Especially with the season that we've had. There's one there that's going soft. If you look at that, you can see it's a bit soft there and that's what's going to happen to them if you leave them on and the plant starts to die so that one's no good but it's the only one so far so happy at that make that too slightly soft we have got a green one so i'll just take that as it is and that's that plant finished we have also got this one and this is a very small plant and it's only been growing in a two litre pot all season so to get peppers that size of it I think it's pretty impressive that one is even bigger so once again stripping down and I'm even taking the smallest ones but off of two plants in quite small containers, that is a pretty good harvest. Let's go and take a look around the other side of the van and I'll show you the peppers that we've got in those two tier planters. So that's some there. These aren't turning quite yet. That one is fine. And so is this one. So I'm taking that too. I might as well strip them all today. It's not going to get any warmer. That one looks like it's just starting to go. So we can cut that off and we've still got a lot of pepper to go at. This plant has got some quite big ones on as well. I think that's the biggest that we've had and it's still nice and firm. So I think I'm gonna leave these on. If I can get those to ripen, that'd be brilliant. Then we've got this plant and these are virtually ripe. And that one is also ripe. That's a nice sized pepper again. Really pleased with results. This is his last plant. That's got a tiny one on it. But that's completely gone. So that's no good. It looks like there's been the odd one falling off. But we've still got quite a few on here. And they're all still firm. So again... 
think I'm going to leave these on. I think what I might do, because it's that time of year, is take away a lot of foliage. It's going to help those peppers ripen. And all these bottom branches can go as well. We don't need those anymore. I think I'm just going to cut these tops away completely. There's no time to grow peppers anymore. So if we cut it back to that extent, we could overwinter this plant. Just tick off every leaf. It looks a little harsh, but that's how you would prepare your plants to take indoors. And that's how you can overwinter them. Just the stem and then that Y shape at the top. And the same with this plant. While we're at it, we might as well just get that job done. If you've never overwintered peppers before, at least now you know what to do. Just cut it back. So you can see to the extent of what we've cut away. So what you could do with this plant now is you could dig it up, put it in a small pot, take it indoors. Just a couple more cuts and that job's done. That is a very small plant. It's even trying to put new growth out on this stem. But look how many peppers is on this and the size of them for a small plant. So now we've took away all that foliage, these peppers are going to ripen a little quicker. And as I said, if I wanted to, I could just dig this plant up, keep a good amount at root and just pop it into a two litre pot, keep it indoors through winter. There's definitely no doubt that when you prepare your peppers for overwintering, it looks brutal. But that's what you have to do with them. Cut them back so you're left with the main stem and then the Y that you see comes up on all pepper plants. But I'm not gonna do that with those. I am gonna keep that basket of fire because it's a really good looking plant. But for almost November, that is a pretty good result. Loads and loads of peppers. Definitely worth waiting for. So that's pretty much it for this video. On a Sunday afternoon, we'll get all these washed up We'll get them in that fridge and then they'll last a little bit longer. I might even roast some and then put them in jars in olive oil with a bit of garlic and then we can save them for even longer. And I've got a video on the cooking channel that shows you exactly how to do that. So as I said at the beginning of the video, for almost November, blue skies, full sun and fruit still ripening. It was a poor year all round. But at least we're getting a bit or an extension on it. If you're interested in seeing what else we do over the next couple of months, then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and definitely do what you can while you've got this sunshine.